think our two teams work pretty well together. There aren't any real problems, as far as I can see. I agree. But we've still got an issue with a certain member of your staff promising customers too much. You mean Lauren? Yeah. She's still agreeing to unrealistic delivery dates, which my guys just can't meet. And then, when customers complain about late deliveries, she comes to us moaning and saying that we've let her down. But to be fair, Lauren's a great salesperson. It's just that sometimes she gets a bit carried away when she's closing the sale. Well, she must be causing you grief as well. Um, I don't enjoy having to explain to my boss why customers are complaining and cancelling their orders. And my team's not getting the blame, are they? No. I've admitted it's a problem in my area. So what are you going to do about it? Well, her appraisal's coming up, so I'll mention it then. More than just mention, I hope. Well, the thing is, it's a bit tricky. There are a couple of performance issues that I want to raise with her, but I don't want it to look as though I'm picking on her. She's the only black person on the team, and I don't want her to take it the wrong way. Yeah. You've got to be careful. Look, you're a good manager. You'll find a way of handling it. I'm sure it'll be fine. OK, Lauren, so, um, in terms of how you deal with the customers, how do you think you've done over the past year? What do you think's gone well for you and perhaps not so well? OK, I think I've got on really well with the customers. I can talk to anybody and get a laugh out of them. <laughs> I suppose that's what makes me a good salesperson. Yeah, you've done really well in building customer relationships and I'm pleased to say that's clearly reflected in the number of sales that you've made. Thank you. Um, you've had a few customers that haven't been entirely happy, haven't you? But everyone gets the odd customer who's not happy. I mean, that's life, isn't it? You can't please everyone, can you? I suppose not. Um, but the one or two complaints that you have had... There was only one, wasn't there? Um, I think there were a few more, but... I haven't got the paperwork on me, but... Well, to be honest, it really wasn't my fault. Um, the delivery team let me down. It's very frustrating when I work so hard to get a customer to place an order and then delivery muck it up. But, but we have to make sure that we're not committing the delivery team to deadlines that they can't meet. Of course not. And I sort of do that. But I find they're not very dynamic. I try my best to push them along, I find them a bit resistant. I see. No one could accuse me of not getting along with people around here. I try and bring a bit of life into the place. You know, having someone around who's a bit of fun, it's good for the atmosphere. Makes work go with a swing. Absolutely, and you're certainly extremely popular with your colleagues in sales, and, you know, I don't want to overstate this issue about delivery times. I'm sure it's something that you'll address in the future. So... OK, let's move on to the next area. It was a good appraisal. A few niggles, but no problems, really. Hilary's very happy with what I've been doing. She thinks I'm a good team player and uh, is really pleased with my sales figures, which is good because I like it here and I want to get on. So if I keep working hard, hopefully I'll get promoted to team leader and uh, keep moving up the company. Lauren's great. Um, but like everyone else, she's got her blind spots. You know, she just can't quite see the things that are dragging down her performance, you know, and I tried to point these out to her, but, well, you know, hopefully she got the message. I certainly brought up the problem with her over-promising to customers, and the delivery guys are right to be annoyed with her about this, you know. Um, but I'm not sure that I made it absolutely clear just how important it is that she stops doing things like this. And I just found it really hard to be frank with her. She's the only black person on the team and I don't want to lay myself open to accusations of, you know, being unfair or... <sighs> so, we'll just have to see what happens over the coming months. And, you know, if things don't improve, I'll just have to have another word with her. The manager giving the appraisal doesn't seem to understand that by not giving an honest appraisal she is directly discriminating against Lauren 
Um, and from a legal perspective, it would be important as a manager to understand the legal implications of not giving somebody a, an honest appraisal. Because at the moment, Lauren believes that she's doing fine. Uh, she believes that she's doing fine. So uh, she's not aware of her blind spot. And in not being aware of her blind spot, um, she's likely to move on and uh, have other problems. The result is that if they're part of a team, the team that they've gone back to has actually become more frustrated and um, therefore tensions and conflicts will begin to arise. So that's a problem for Lauren in terms of the development of her career. It's a problem for the manager that uh, gave the poor appraisal. And it's also a problem for the organisation because they will continue to lose customers as a result of this mismatch between sales and the delivery teams. The manager could have done a much better appraisal for Lauren by, in the first instance, being very clear as to what she wanted to achieve um, at the outset before she went into the appraisal. She also um, needed to have specific pieces of evidence so that she could have a very objective discussion with Lauren about the issues that she was raising. Well, a really good appraisal is where both the person appraising the manager and the person being appraised can create an agreed solution as to how to, they want to go forward and what the, the development opportunity might be. So I'm very pleased with your sales figures. Thank you. You did experience a few problems with customers complaining over late deliveries, didn't you? Well, there was one instance, but I put that down to the delivery team then. OK. There were actually three complaints in all. There was the one that I helped you with, uh, the one that you dealt with yourself, and then the one where they cancelled the order. I make so many successful sales that I just forgot. So what went wrong in these three cases, do you think? Like I said, the delivery team couldn't get them dispatched on time. And the dates that you gave the customers were within the delivery time guidelines? Well, more or less, I think. I might have pushed it a bit. But I was keen not to lose those sales. Of course not. But can you see what happens if we don't keep our promises to customers? Well, yeah, they complain. But... I think the problem is the delivery times are too long. Well, they've actually been brought down to a level that's been agreed and they're much shorter than they used to be. OK. We'll just get impatient with things like that cos I want to get the orders straight out to the customers. Um, it's great that you're so customer-focused, but the thing is, if we let them down, they complain and then sometimes they cancel the order, they never use us again. How do you think that makes the sales team look? Not good. That's right. And then I have to account for that to my director. OK. So it's just really important that you don't promise things that we can't deliver on. Under-promise and over-deliver, you mean? Exactly. OK, it's a fair point. I'll make sure I stay within the guidelines. OK, great. Thanks very much for taking all that on board, Lauren. You're a very good salesperson and I'd like to see you do as well as possible here. Thank you.